So you wanna know how I extract thousands of leads from Apollo for free? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna break down exactly how my scraper works and how you can download this exact same Python script that I made for free and you can use it on your own machine. This Python script allows me to extract literally hundreds of emails and phone numbers that allows me to put into my email campaigns, my text message campaigns, send out cold emails to, make cold calls to, and overall just get me more business. So if you wanna know how you can get basically unlimited leads from Apollo, we'll stick around because I'm going to show you right now. So if we head on over to my computer here, you'll see I'm on my web scraper. And the thing that we need in order for this to work is we need just the URL of the list that we're trying to get and then also the name of our CSV file. And our CSV file will basically be an Excel sheet that has all the information like the names, the emails, the phone number, the LinkedIn's, all that good stuff. So what we can do is we'll head on over to Apollo. And if we take a look at Apollo, what we'll be doing is be using their free plan with the unlimited email credits on a business email account. So you have to be at like your name at mybusiness.com. Once you sign up with an account like that, you'll be given the 10,000 credits a month, which is what we'll be using. And if you've noticed, we only get 120 export credits a year with the free plan, which blows. We obviously want hundreds of thousands to send out to our campaigns without paying this hefty $97 a month. That's why we have this web scraper to do basically all of this for us for free. You'd want to sort through these here, to basically make a list of some people that match your particular business target market. So depending on their job title, their company, their location, what industry they're in, you'll come in here and click on these filters to basically get the most qualified people to send out cold messages to. A key thing when doing this, especially when you're web scraping information off Apollo and using it on a different service like an email auto sender, is make sure you click on this email status here and make sure you check verified. When you sort by only people that have verified emails, it just makes it easier to put lists together and then you're not wasting time dealing with people who don't have an email. But once you have a list together, we'll come up here. I already have this example here that I've been using called real estate. So I'll just go on this list here of 125 people. You can make this list as large as you want. You only get to select 25 people at a time on the free plan, but we'll get around that. You can always add more people past the limit to a list. So what I like to do is just literally sort by employee numbers and then go through each one. And then if this one has 125, this one has 125, just add all of them individually to a main list. So then you have like a list of like a thousand people. But once you have your list put together, we'll basically copy this URL up here, head back over to the web scraper, and then I'll stick this in here and then I'll save this. And then we'll name this to real estate, just real estate. And then we will click on the play button up here. And what this will do is without me having to do anything, it'll open up Apollo and then it will go through and then it will literally click on the button, scrape the email and do that for every single person in the list and then put it in an Excel file. And then as I keep mentioning, you can use that for whatever you want, email sender, your sales team, anything. I used to actually have a web scraper that did it a little bit differently before all I used to have the emails where the phone numbers are now, but they since changed it where you actually have to click on a button in order to scrape the email in an attempt to avoid people scraping it like this. But so we're about to finish up here. And after about, I would say a minute or two or so, it'll go through the rest of them and then it will close the tab. And then down here say your leads are ready. And then if we head over to the file, and open up the Excel file or the CSV file that we just made, you'll see we have a nice juicy Excel file with all of the contacts that we just got from Apollo for free. You can see we have the emails here, the LinkedIn, the phone numbers for everyone. And you can literally just take this and put it into whatever kind of software system you use. You can see it even got the secondary emails here. And even if you wanna do maybe hit both of them or something, just kind of a new thing that Apollo has been adding. Hopefully this will work for 2024 and beyond. But if not, I'll also have another video which you can check out where I actually build this whole thing from scratch. So I show you exactly how you can build a web scraper like the one I just built for free. But if you don't wanna build this whole thing, I've got you covered there. You're gonna to wanna to head down in the description below and download the pipe 
Python file that I've put together on this exact web scraper. And I'm going to show you exactly how you can get this running on your machine. Make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe. I put a lot of time putting this video together and also legitimately, this is something people pay big money for and I'm giving it away for free. Anyway, let's just get to it. So I'm going to have this exact Python file down in the description below. It'll be literally the exact same thing. Besides, I'm going to have this link removed. And then also I'm going to have, this will probably be the same thing too. And then a couple other things you're going to want to download as well. You're going to want to have VS code and Python. So I'm already on VS code right now, but if you don't have VS code and you're not a coding person, you're just going to want to have this installed on your local machine. And I will say this is only been test this has only been tested on Windows 11 so I'm not too sure if it'll work with Mac but I'm pretty sure it'll be the same thing or at least really similar so if you want to build one for yourself I'll have the video to that but you're gonna want to download VS code and then you're also gonna want to download Python 3.10.6 that's been kind of the standard Python that people have been using for AI and stuff it's the one that I'm running right now so Python 3.10.6 you can get it off the Python website and then once you're on VS code you're gonna want to head over to the extensions and install the Python extension in VS Code. Literally go to the extensions, type in Python, and then install it from here. We'll head back over to our web scraper. We're going to want to install Selenium. So you can see here, I have these Selenium imports right here. And Selenium is basically the automatic web scraper Python software that I've been using to get this thing to run in the first place. So once you have VS Code installed, once you have Python installed, you're going to want to come up here to terminal, make a new terminal. We'll type in pip install Selenium. I already have it installed, but if you don't, it'll go through here and install it for you. And then we just need one more thing. And that is our Google Chrome driver. So as of right now, this only works on Google Chrome. And then once you have Google Chrome installed, I'll just head over to Chrome right now. We'll just type in Chrome colon slash slash version. And you can see at the top here, it says 120.060.9971. So this is our official build of Chrome. And what we need is actually the driver for Google Chrome. So when we boot up our web Web scraper, it actually knows which version of Google Chrome to use. I'll just search for Google Chrome driver and I'll come to the first link here. I'll also have a link for this down in the description below, but we'll come to this Chrome for testing availability dashboard. And you can see we have our stable version of the exact build that we're using on our Google Chrome right here, which is perfect. So I'll come here and I'll click on the stable version and then we're gonna have to download our Google Chrome driver. <laughs> so there's a couple different versions here, but we're gonna wanna use the Chrome driver right here for your selected machine. So if you're using Mac, like I said, I haven't fully officially tested this on a Mac, you can use the Mac version here, or what we'll be using is the Windows 64 version here. So you can literally just copy this link, open it in a new tab, and then it will download it to your downloads up here. And then from here, there will be a zip folder inside, which you can extract, and then you'll need this Chrome driver application. And then what you want to do is just put this Chrome driver application file in side of the file with the web scraper. So you can see I have this web scraper file here. And then I also have the Chrome driver file inside of my VS code window here. So it's all in the same folder. I did it this way to keep it simple, but if you have it in a different location, you can always change this Chrome driver path right here to something else. But as I keep saying to keep it simple, just keep your Chrome driver in the same file as your web scraper. So once you have Python, VS code, Selenium, and your Google Chrome driver, we're gonna need to do one more thing. And that's to get our user directory. So this one for me is located in this path for me, but in order to find it for you, all we're going to do is type in is percent app data percent and then open this folder. I'll come out of the roaming folder and I'll come into the local folder and then we want to go to the Google folder and then into the Chrome folder, user data folder and then this default folder. You can use really any Google Chrome profile you want, but for the sake of this tutorial, you want to use this Google Chrome default profile here. So we'll click on this folder and then we'll just click up here to get the location of that folder, control C, and then paste that in here. It'll likely be the same thing for your machine, although this C might not be a C if it's not on your C drive. And then also you'll probably have this changed as well. I'll remove this for the version that you get on your machine. So you're going to want to basically put in the name of whatever user that you're using on your Windows machine. But once you have this looking good, your Chrome driver installed, we should be ready to go. So then you put in your link here and then you type in the CSV file name and then you run it. But instead of it actually going to this link, 
list file here, it just opens up Apollo and it doesn't actually go to the list that you want. To fix this, you just have to log in one time on your Apollo account. So to give you some time, change this time.sleep to like 200, save it, run it again, and then you should just be able to log in really quickly into Apollo. And then once you're logged in, you're pretty much ready to go. It'll crash, it won't work, but once you're logged in once, you'll be set. And then after you're logged in, you can come and remove this so it's just two again. So then once you're logged in on your user account, you have everything set up, the link is in place, you just have to click on the run button. And then, it literally would just open up the tab and start scraping everything for you. And the thing with this is it'll go for as many pages as you have in your list. So if you have 2000 leads, five minutes later, you'll have 2000 leads in a CSV file. But that's basically how it works. And the CSV files just get dumped out right into the same folder that the web scraper is in. And if for some reason something doesn't work, your best friend, once again, a big theme on this channel is always ChatGPT. Just go down in ChatGPT, paste in the code, paste in the error and say, what's happening? What's going wrong? Please help me out here. I don't know what to do. And hopefully it'll give you an answer to help point you in the right direction on what's the issue. Once again, you can find this Python file down in the description below. I really hope this tutorial it helped at least someone automate their lead generation with Apollo it's definitely helped me get a ton more leads to send out emails to I've gotten a lot of business from it if you've enjoyed make sure to hit a fat like on this video it really really does help me out if you have any questions with the setup or installation make sure to drop them in the comments below if you want me to work with you in building a web scraper a bot some AI or automations make sure to book a free call with me down in the description below just a quick disclaimer though I don't do any IT or bug fixing. So if you need help getting this set up, please just watch the video over again. I don't have time to help everyone set this up. But if there is any issues and you want to see exactly how I put this web scraper together to get unlimited leads on Apollo, you can check out this video here that I made where I show you step by step how I put this web scraper together. I literally build this exact same Python script from scratch, all with AI. I don't really code anything. So I'll see you guys over there.